Hi there, my name's Chris, sales manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. We're looking at a range of product today from Sony. The model number is the KDL40HX803 and the KDL46HX803. So two screen sizes there, 40 and 46 inch. The model we have here is the 46 inch version, but the specification is identical on both models. To run through some of the uh, features on this range for you now, um, they are full HD, so they're caught with 720p, 1080i and 1080p resolution. They're also 200Hz scanning. Now, if you consider a normal TV picture is made up of 50 pictures per second, which refers to 50Hz, this TV is 200Hz, so 200 images per second making up that image for you. So it's going to control movement extremely well. So if you're watching sport uh, or a movie with any fast movement in there, you're going to get no delay or drag in that image. This particular range are also LED edge lit, so you get a very high contrast level with them. They're extremely slim panels. In a few moments, we'll spin it round and we'll have a look at the, the rear of the TV. But with them being LED edge lit, they are extremely slim and give you an extremely high contrast. Because the contrast is so high, you achieve a very natural colour palette, great depth of field and good detail in darker scenes as well. This particular range are also ready for 3D technology, so you can upgrade these TVs to 3D at any time in the future. So if you want to get yourself a 3D uh, Blu-ray DVD from Sony, there are kits available to adapt this TV to 3D technology as well. They've also got internet facilities through the TV either wirelessly or hardwired so you can get onto uh, various websites such as YouTube, uh, Dailymotion, uh, various websites uh, available, um, BBC iPlayer, all of those you can access either wirelessly or you can hardwire them through this TV as well. What we'll do at the moment, we'll spin the TV round and we'll just go through some of the sockets on the rear of the set. Okay, so we have a Ethernet port. So if you want to hardwire this through um, your internet system at home, you can do it via Ethernet. Coming down from there, just to the left, you've got two SCART sockets. Next to those, you have component, which is the red, green, blue connection. Um, some DVDs and games consoles use that uh, connection. We've got that on there as well. Underneath there, you've also got the audio input for the components. So that's just the audio in. Next to that, you've got a, a PC VGA socket here as well, so you can connect your PC or laptop to that socket. We've then got just underneath there the audio input for that socket to take the sound in, and underneath that you've got audio out. So you've got an analog audio out there to take the sound externally out of the TV to a amplifier. Just next to that, you've also got optical. So this socket here is a optical socket, so you can digitally take the sound from the TV. So you can either use the optical socket or the analog audio out. And just above that, you've got two HDMI inputs on there as well. Coming down here, you've got the coaxial socket for the aerial. And you've also got, just underneath there, a tiny little socket here, which is the uh, adapter to uh, upgrade the TV to 3D technology as well. On the side of the set, you've got a USB socket, so you can get a wireless dongle, plug it into here, you can access the internet wirelessly if you wish to do so. You've also got two... Um, uh, HDMI's on here as well, making four HDMI's in total. You've got composite video in, um, so this is the yellow, uh, red and white socket, so you can plug a Wii games console, say, into that socket. Then just underneath there, you've got a headphone socket. So as you can see, you've got a TV there with a multiple array of sockets and specifications, just to recap again, are full HD, so up to 1080p resolution, 200 hertz scanning, Edge LED to give you that high contrast level. They're also upgradable for 3D technology as well. You've also got um, the latest Freeview HD tuners built into them. So you've got a free HD service. So if they are transmit transmitting HD in your region, you can get BBC, ITV, Channel 4 high definition just through your TV aerial. We have this plugged in at the moment just to a standard TV aerial. At the moment, we're on BBC HD. If we go up from there, you've then got ITV HD, which will just come on in just a moment, and also Channel 4 HD. This is a free HD service just through your TV aerial now, which they are transmitting in various locations throughout the UK. The set itself has um, an extremely good menu system. You press the home button on the uh, remote control, and it puts you into Sony's crossbar menu system. Once you're into the menu, You've got up, down, right and left on the remote control. If we click over to the left, 
it'll take us through the various different menus on the uh, TV. You can also, we, did, we looked at before on the side of the TV there's a USB socket which um, has various uh, applications. You can plug a wireless dongle into there to access the internet wirelessly. Um, you can plug a memory stick into there so if you want to download photographs or moving images to the TV you can do so. There's actually some images stored in here at the moment. If we just click on that, get the images up on the screen for you. These could be your own photogra photographs stored on the screen. You can actually leave the photographs on there. You could use it actually as a picture frame as well. Stunning picture performance from, from this set. I must admit it's uh, absolutely superb. You can actually scroll through those photographs. So there's various different photographs that you can uh, access. I says these photographs could be from your own PC. You could access uh, your, um, anything you've got stored on your hard drive or, as I said, from a, a USB that you may have plugged into the side of the TV. You can have those on a um, rolling demonstration as well. So if we go into the options menu on there for the photographs, it will kick up slideshow. Uh, in fact, there we go. So we can just click on that. And if you've got various photographs stored on the memory stick, then it will give you a slideshow and it will show the photograph and just start... Uh, turning those over onto the various different photographs that are on there. So we'll just come out of that now for a moment. We'll just return back to the menu. And if we go along there, we come to the display settings. Now the display settings, if we just press OK in the centre of the remote control, will take us into the picture menu. And in the picture menu, once we're uh, into that menu system, You've got various sort of preset modes for the picture, but you can go into each of those and alter the uh, backlight, contrast, brightness to however you want it. So you've got full override to adjust that picture. We'll just go back to the TV just for a moment, just to get your picture on there. And let's just go back into that menu. So we click over to the left to get to the display settings. Press OK. Press OK again to get into the picture menu. As I said, we've got various preset modes such as Vivid. If we can just click through those, you'll see them changing to Custom. And as we change through there, you'll see the contrast and brightness changing on screen. Standard, and back to Vivid again. These are just preset modes from the manufacturer, but you can go into any of those. And as we said before, you can access the backlight, the contrast. When you're onto the one you want, just press OK, and then just adjust accordingly to how you want the picture to look. We'll just come out of that menu there, and so you've got brightness, colour, hue, colour temperature. On the colour temperature, it's at neutral at the moment, you can set that to warm settings, which increase the red in the image, and you've got cool, which increases the overall blue in the image. So we'll go back to neutral, and you've got adjustments for sharpness and noise reduction. The noise reduction is on low at the moment. If you're watching a TV picture which may have some grain in the image, not a particularly good broadcast, or you're suffering from a poor TV reception, if you access the noise reduction, you've got low, medium, or high on there. And what that does is diffuse some of that noise in the image to give you a better picture performance from the set itself. So you've got that option in there as well. If we just come out of that menu for a second, if you go down from there, you've got 3D settings as well, which we've no 3D uh, to access at the moment because we've no 3D set up on this particular set. But then we come down to the ambient sensor. At the moment, it's switched off. But if we go into that and switch that on, the ambient sensor on this TV is at the bottom of the set down here. And what it will do is basically read the, the ambient light and the colour temperature of the room and always keep the, the picture at optimum performance from you. So it's a good idea to generally leave the ambient sensor on because it will constantly measure the ambient light of the room and always keep the picture at optimum performance. So as well as the picture settings, we'll just press the menu again and we'll just go over to those settings and down one from there. We come to the sound menu. If we jump into the sound menu, you've then got options in there to adjust the treble and bass. But yet again, you've got preset modes in there from the manufacturer for dynamic, clear voice, standard, and so forth on there as well. We'll just go for the dynamic setting, but you can alter the treble and the bass wherever you want it. And you've also got surround sound off, 
or you've got surround sound to force the sound out and around you just from the TV set itself to give you an artificial surround sound from the set itself. So an excellent TV for picture and sound quality. When you look at the specification on this range of TV, as I said, they are full HD, 200 hertz, they are 3D upgradable, um, fantastic contrast ratio on there. You've got free, free view HD tuners built into them. The specification um, is absolutely stunning. And with the array of sockets on the rear, they're absolutely um, sort of no shortfalls in this series. What I would say, if you'd like to give me a ring, my name is Chris, you can call me at the Bolton store on 01204 861 861. Um, we also have a store in Leeds as well, this TV is on permanent demonstration in our Leeds store. Or if you go through to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk, you'll find various other um, demonstrations on there uh, for TV, so you see video demonstrations on various TVs as well as amplifiers and speakers as well. So please give me a call, said my name's Chris, I'll go into our store either in Bolton or Leeds, or if you're watching this on a video link somewhere, just click the link at the side of the screen, that'll also take you through to our website. Thank you.